Moglie a ferro, oi! Moglie a ferro! Babbo, ancio! Another day around the sun, so let's take a trip around this beautiful island of Mombasa. <laughs> Most of you will get surprised that the city is painted blue and white. You think you are somewhere in Greece. The former and the first governor of Mombasa County, Ali Asanjo, instructed every trader to paint their buildings blue and white. We saw this as a big job, forcing someone to love the color of your choice, but it's working. And uh, everyone wants to be associated with Mombasa. Everyone around Mombasa gets and, and enjoys that Santorini vibe. You know Santorini? In Greece? Leave a comment if you have ever heard of Santorini. Mombasa is one of the beautiful islands everyone would wish to come for holidays. Everyone would wish to vacation. Everyone would wish to go for their honeymoons. Yeah. So I took a vehicle from Mombasa Central Business District to Megadini, a place I've never been before, but I really wanted to explore. <laughs> These matatus, which most of you call uh, matwana, they are very much common on this side of the coast. And uh, their seating arrangement is quite different from the Nairobi system and any other part of Kenya. So that's a unique system everyone would want to experience while in this side. From the music, the luxury, and uh, the relationship between um, the travelers and the officials of those Matatu. So it's different. It's only in Nairobi whereby someone can insult you to bow their matatus, but on this side, it's a bit different. The experience is different. So the other mo mode of transport within the coast is this. The tuk-tuks, three-wheel vehicles. <laughs> So these are the truck trucks. I believe we have millions of them <laughs> in this island. <laughs> Almost every person there, I think they own it. <laughs> so it's still early morning and the humid level very high. Now this is the famous Mwembetayari. Mwembetayari. Mwembe ready. Mwembe ready. 
You have to keep on calling your customers. Remember you are fighting for the same customer with several drivers. So whoever convinces the most, the more they make their money. Basically, at Mwembe Tayari, every vehicle headed to any part of East Africa comes here. Whether it's headed to Nairobi, other parts of Kenya, they are found here. You guys know that I have a very special attachment to islands from Trinidad and Tobago and now Mombasa. A very unique impression everyone should note is that every public transport vehicle must have a yellow line and on that yellow line we have on the script a description we have names of those towns of cities that the ICO travels to Guy is pulling a cart, Madafu cart. 
coconut cut Gokotemi There's some very old structures here. You can tell these these structures were built many centuries ago. And there is and the reason as to why they don't upgrade them, you know. Many lands, many plots in the city are leased. So you can um, upgrade it without a new lease. You might upgrade it, then the next day the government tells you that you need to move. You need to vacate. Someone else needs to occupy your property. Big dump side at this side. You can identify your flag. You can see United Kingdom, US, Slovakia. I want to see Trinidad and Tobago. Make sure I can't miss Germany.
that is what I filmed before leaving the island and what is dear. Now this is what the media shows. The media will always want to show the other side of Africa, the negative side of Africa. Now this is the, what the media people will love to show, will love to see. Manga. <laughs> so if we head the countryside of Mombasa, I would call this the countryside. The villages. a nightlife <laughs> see the city is active
got the license. <laughs> something during morning hours these places are very full we have so many people heading to their workplaces now it's the direct opposite so uh, the population you see at the moment can't match what we experience during morning hours you even overcrowd to the extent of pushing each other while walking on the on the road so now it's different the plan is i have to sleep in diani ukunda so now i have to board the ferry across the indian ocean Ocean, Indian Ocean. So now I wanna I just prefer sitting at the upper decker. So we're now walking to the fastest farthest end. The upper decker is still empty. So I'm lucky. 